All right, now let's take a look at some sports. Here's Ayotunde Balobu. Thanks to Jama the Nigeria Women's Professional Football League has confirmed Nasarawa Amazons will play Rivers Angels in the inaugural Super Cup scheduled for December in Lagos. Amazons won the NWPL Super 4 in Benin City at those state, while Rivers Angels won the 2017 ITO Cup at the Rang Pam Stadium in Jos Plateau State. The NWPL said the Super Cup is meant to herald a new league season and create a value for women's football in the country. Francisco Odega, Super Falcons forward, has joined Spanish club Atletico de Madrid Femenino on a loan deal from Washington Spirits. After successfully completing the relevant medical examination, Odega signed the contract that binds her to the club until March 2018 before the American League kicks off. The 24-year-old is expected to strengthen the offensive line of the squad. Odega says she intends to adapt quickly to the style of play using her athletic and fast pace ability. One of the most decorated African basketball players has called it a day after more than two decades of a playing career. Former Angolan international Joachim Gomez announced the end of his illustrious career at the age of 36. Throughout his international career, Gomez helped his country to five FIBA Afro basket titles in 2003, 2005, 2007, 2009 and 2013. As well as being named FIBA Afro basket MVP in 2007 and 2009, the power forward represented his country at the Olympics in 2004 and 2008. At club level, he helped Angolan Giants Primero de Agosto win five FIBA Africa Champions Cup titles. Unseeded Russian player Daria Kazatkina has won her place in the finals of the Kremlin Cup with a dominant 6-2-6-3 victory over Romania's Irina Begu. The Russian broke Begu serve in a long fifth game and powered on to take the first set 6-2. She then broke the Romanian twice more in the second set before taking the set 6-3. The 20-year-old will face Yulia Georges of Germany in Saturday's final. And that's a wrap on Sports News. Ijama will be back with the rest of the news at 10. The Malawi police have arrested as many as 140 people who have been attacking people they suspect to be vampires. Eight people are believed to have been killed, including two men on Thursday in the city of Blanta. Vigilante killings started on September the 16th when three people suspected of being bloodsuckers were killed by a mob. Traditional leaders in southern Malawi believe the vampire rumors started across the border in Mozambique, where rumors of bloodsucking have led to violence this week. Protesters say they targeted the police because they believe they're protecting the supposed vampires, leading a northern town's administrator to flee the city. And 60 people are said to have died in two separate attacks on Shia Muslim mosques in Afghanistan. A gunman entered the Imam Zaman Mosque in Kabul before opening fire and detonating an explosive, killing more than 30 worshippers. The second attack happened in Gaur province, leaving 10 people dead, including a pro-government militia commander. Details of the attacks remain unclear and the number of casualties is likely to rise, while no one has claimed responsibility for the attacks. Do something brighter. Let's take a look at entertainment news tonight. Well, Nigerian rapper M.I. plans to drag his American counterpart to court in that particular one. Here's Maiwa Ogundele with more. Many thanks. Here are trending stories in showbiz. Nigeria's rap icon M.I. is filing a suit against international rap star Nas for breach of contract. The lawsuit filed in the New York State Supreme Court in the USA positions that in 2013, M.I. through his label, Chocolate City Music, paid $50,000 for a verse from Nas that wasn't delivered to details. M.I.'s team had requested a verse that included specific words, including M.I., Chocolate City and Nigeria. But while Nas did deliver a verse for M.I., the lawsuit contends that the verse in question did not have any of the subject matter agreed. And from Hollywood, with shiny accolades up his sleeves, Nigerian-born visual effects artist Laide Agumbiade is on a mission to diversify the Nigerian filming terrain. Agumbiade, who has been a part of many Academy Award-winning teams for big box office Hollywood movies, including a part of the Harry Potter series,
Spider-Man 3 and Interstellar, amongst others, prefers Hollywood-type technical support to help Nigerian filmmakers get more creative. On the music front, pop star Wizkid has been nominated by BET for the Soul Train Awards 2017, which recognizes the best in soul, R&B, and hip-hop music. Wizkid was nominated in the Best Dance Performance Award category for his music video, Come Closer. Gojo Legbakuna also received two nominations in the Best International Act and Best African Act categories of the 2017 Mobile Awards. That's it from me. Thanks for watching. Let's head back for the rest of the news. And the main news again. President Mohamedou Buhari today asked the group of developing countries, otherwise known as the D8, to increase activities in trade and investment among its members. The president who said this as the D8 summit in Istanbul, Turkey came to an end, also challenged the members to take advantage of a planned AU-backed Africa free trade zone. Also today, the All Progressives Congress kicked off its campaign ahead of the Anambra state governorship election taking place on November the 18th, 2017, and vowed to keep its promises to the people of the state. And at least 60 people have died in separate attacks targeting Shia worshippers in Afghanistan. And that's the news at 10 tonight. Thanks a lot for staying with us. I'm Ijo Mahbunyato. Do have a great weekend. Good night.